can't figure out what's causing your erection problems. Uh, do you think Viagra would help? <laughs> nope, still no clue. <laughs> The Human Corkscrew, Phantom Pregnancies, and um, Blood Brothers? What? Today we're back at it, breaking down and reacting to all of the creative medical scenes and far-fetched injuries from Cyanide and Happiness. Let's dive right in. Well, the surgery's over. Your son is free to leave today. What? That's not how it works. Oh my gosh, okay. Typically in the emergency department, if somebody unfortunately dies, they're actually taken to the morgue of the hospital. So there is a section of the hospital where an individual will go after they've died. Never actually been down there myself. And then the family can make arrangements for a funeral home to then come and pick up the individual. Popping pills, Jonathan. Well, aren't you a big grown up man? Big men don't pop one pill, Jonathan. Oh, jeez. They pop the whole bottle. Oh my gosh. You can see these pills, they're capsules. They're made two ends with powders on the inside and they're all different colors. That means they're all different types of medications. There's other writing on the pill itself to then input it into the computer and actually find out what the medication is. I can't figure out what's causing your erection problems. Uh, do you think Viagra would help? Oh. <laughs> nope, still no clue. <laughs> Multiple different pathways of why somebody might have trouble with erections. Could be blood flow, could be your brain getting in the way of like a psychiatric component, but then they have Viagra, they have all these different medications out there. The doctor should not just have them in his pocket. And again, they were multicolored, which doesn't make sense. My thumbnail hurts. Let's get a closer look. We see people come to the emergency department all the time. All the time. With nail issues. Sometimes it can be related to what's called the paronychia, which is an infection around the fingernail. And the treatment for that ends up being basically sticking a small blade or needle and getting the pus out. ingrown nails. Typically they don't occur emergently, so you can go to a specialist about it. A lot of times people will come with toenail issues and I definitely recommend seeing a podiatrist. Holy <laughs> Patrick Bateman! I loved you in Arrested Development! Wait, I'm thinking of... Ouch! I will say I haven't really seen any axe head injuries, but because of the weight of it, you can definitely cause issues relating to skull fractures, brain injuries, and then laceration through the skin. You have two days to live. I think I want a second opinion. Getting a second opinion is actually not a bad idea relating to medical issues. Doctors are humans. We are given all the data and then we extrapolate that data and give the best summary of what that evidence is giving us. You have 172,800 <laughs> seconds to live. Ah, that's a much higher number. Oh my gosh. Okay, so two days to live. It's hard to give an exact prognosis and timing of how long someone's going to survive whatever ailment it is. We give generalized numbers and we really want to be wrong. If somebody says, oh, we, the person's not going to survive the next day or so, that probably means that they're already very close to dying. This guy's hurt. Help! Actually, it's really good. So if somebody found down on their side, there's blood coming out of the mouth. Get help. Get 911 there immediately. I've trained my whole life for this very moment. Doctor? Marathon runner. <laughs> Been in situations on airplanes where they need a doctor. Outside of the hospital, there's not much to do unless you need to act and do CPR or if somebody's having a seizure and you need to protect their head so they don't hurt themselves. <gasps> oh! Oh! God, are you okay? <laughs> Should be wearing a helmet when you're skateboarding. Shouldn't be skateboarding on the roof, obviously. Land it on your back. My back! Could snap a vertebrae, could sever your spinal cord. Blood coming from the mouth could have just cracked a tooth, bitten a tongue or a cheek, or a small laceration in the mouth. That situation, call 911. Is he gonna make it? I, I don't. Oh, uh, well, at least that's a good answer. If somebody's on the ventilator, you're typically not having a mask go over the mouth. You're having an endotracheal tube in, so it's going into the airway. It looks like he's going to be in a coma for the rest of his life. <laughs> oh, that was just a reflex. I mean, that's a good depiction. So our body does have reflexes. If somebody has passed away, their body still might move or they might take another breath and it's just still action potentials and muscle firing that cause that. It's not actually purposeful and the patient is still deceased. Doc, give me the good news. How's my bundle of joy doing? Hmm. 
No. First off, he shouldn't be doing an exam by himself. There are times when it might be underneath a sheet, fine, but somebody should be in the room with you. I'm sorry to tell you this, Miss McLeod, but I think you're feeling what is called a phantom pregnancy. The symptoms you're experiencing are psychosomatic. You simply aren't pregnant. What? I've had patients come in to the hospital and say they are pregnant and believe that they're pregnant, but they're actually not. And we do ultrasounds, we do blood work, actually to check, and it is negative, but yet they believe that they are pregnant. I'm going into labor! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what? How can that, oh, oh, okay. Um. Check early pregnancies. You do HCG testing. So it's uh, the blood hormone. That's what you do a pregnancy test. There's a urine test and a blood test. Then you would do an ultrasound, which is a type of imaging that is safe that you can look to see if there's a baby inside the uterus. There's a baby in there, huh? I cannot believe it. It's a boy. <laughs> One, there's no blood, didn't cut a cord, didn't clear out the secretions. I've delivered my fair share of babies in my career. There's a lot of things that have to happen. Well, Mr. McLeod, it seems I spoke too soon. You are now the proud mother of a bouncing baby. Miss McLeod? What did I just witness? What is happening? Sometimes patients disappear for multiple different reasons. The most simple is they just don't want to wait around. Here in the United States, there's laws where typically, I believe, if the baby is within a few days old, you can actually drop a baby off to a specific facilities. Damn it! Oh, I just got started drinking! But I, I need to sober up before I'm doing my drive home. Obviously, people go to a bar to drink. If you're intoxicated to where you can't drive, please do not drive, especially nowadays there are cabs, Uber drivers, Lyft drivers. There's 8 million type of apps out there that you can get somebody to drive you home. Hey, why don't you let me help you gents even out before you hit the road? Hey, what are you? Oh, there you go, friend. And one for you. Oh, yeah, are you Jesus? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do that because of blood incompatibility. You don't know what the blood type of the other individual is, and you don't know if they have any other bloodborne diseases that you could potentially catch. Typically, once the alcohol is in your system and in your blood, your body just has to metabolize it out. You guys are gonna love this! Oh, she does this thing with her. Ah, it's so cute! Okay, okay! <gasps> what the? <gasps> oh! I'm so confused. If you can rotate that far, you have hypermobile joints and definitely need to get checked out for any connective tissue disease processes. One that everybody thinks about is Marfan. Cyanide and happiness is actually made really well and I actually enjoy watching this. I like watching this and shout out to the creators of this. They've done a very good job. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.